Christian Book About Jesus, Book 2 of 7. Seven Steps to Forgiveness with Jesus. Copyright 2024 by Debbie Dunn. This book was written for youth groups, Jesus lovers, church leaders, Bible study groups, and families eager for a deeper understanding of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a Christian book about Jesus by Debbie Dunn called Seven Steps to Forgiveness with Jesus. This is book two of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series. You can find it on Amazon, Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, draft to digital Google Play, Lulu, Kobo, and several bookstores and libraries worldwide. You are welcome to visit my two websites that give you direct links to these books. www.biblebooksforhisglory.com or www.christianbooksaboutjesus.com Check out this book display of all seven books. Book one of seven, Bible Books for His Glory, Book one of seven, called Jesus' Crucifixion and Resurrection, foretold by 12 biblical prophets and kings. This is the unabridged book. There are also six standalone books pulled from the unabridged book one. This one is book two of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series. It's called Seven Steps to Forgiveness with Jesus. Book three of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series is called Palm Sunday, Alabaster Jar Gift for Jesus, Jigsaw Puzzle Metaphor, and Holy Spirit Benefits. Book four of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series is called Ten Part Agenda for Last Supper with Jesus. Book five of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series is called Jesus prayed for strength in the Garden of Gethsemane before his six trials. Book six of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series is called The Crucifixion of Jesus in 30 AD. Book seven of seven of the Bible Books for His Glory book series is called After Seven Wows and Time in the Tomb. Jesus Resurrects on the Third Day. This is the book description for Book 2. In Matthew 5, verses 21 to 24, and Matthew 7, verses 1 to 5, Jesus gave us two directives about forgiveness and leaving judgment of others to Almighty God. How do we go about doing that? This book describes a seven-step process as one of the many methods that might work for you when forgiving others. Some of the points this book covers include righteous indignation versus wrath, 12 free resources in cases of domestic violence and other types of abuse, Exploring what might happen if you refuse to forgive. Judgment Day, Bema Seat versus Great White Throne. Judgment Day thought experiment for both believers and non-believers facing Christ. Judgment Day, five crowns earned by believers. Verbal abuse examples. How to break the grudge holding habit. The six responses to trauma, five Fs plus Jesus. Putting on the armor of God. Seven steps to forgiveness with Jesus 
was written for youth groups, Jesus lovers, church leaders, Bible study groups, and families eager for a deeper understanding of our Lord Jesus Christ. The author filled this book with conceptual illustrations that help further illuminate the reader's experience. She also included chapter-by-chapter -chapter study guides for your convenience. Will you take this free gift of salvation? The death of Jesus paid in full for all of our sins, past, present, and future. The blood of Jesus is priceless. And as it says in Romans 6, verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. If you are not yet saved, here is one version of the sinner's prayer that you can state. Read along with me, if you like, as it states, Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. 50% of all book sales will be donated to Covenant House to join the fight to end youth homelessness. About the author, Debbie Dunn. Debbie Dunn has been a professional storyteller since 1989. She has also taught at risk teens, served as an anti-bullying specialist, and taught elementary and middle school. In her retirement years, she indulges her love of our Lord Jesus Christ, nature, traveling, and writing as she pursues learning and exploring more about the Holy Bible.